this is what the code looks like finished so from the start we set up the lap time and the best time variables set them to zero we set up a private bool for the start timer to check whether the timer has been started or not we set up the two checkpoint variables to see if we've gone through the two checkpoints or not true or false we set up the two variables to control the text UIs on the screen so the best time and the lap time lap times on the left the best times on the right and we have an empty FX object game object to instantiate a copy of whatever effect that we want to happen and trigger nothing happens in the start so we could actually get rid of that start function a bit of st stuff happens inside of the update though we've got we set the time the lap time up here we transform the position of the car if he falls off and goes below 298 we set him back to the start back to here we start oh sorry no we we um, add or count on to the lap time variable only if the start timer has been set to true so uh, that that comes from the trigger down below here we have an on trigger function and in here we instantiate a that affects that particle affects things so an explosion or a fireworks we put it into a position and then we destroy it after five seconds we test whether we're going through the start finish this object and we say if the start timer is so if we haven't started the timer yet then we start the timer we set the lap time to zero and we set everything to false the checkpoints to false the next part of it is we check if we've gone through the checkpoints both checkpoints not just one then we're going to stop the timer we're going to set the best time if this if the best time hasn't been set yet if it's still set to zero then we're going to set that to the lap time and then we're going to see if the lap time is less than the best time the previously recorded best time then we're going to set the best time to that new lap time and then we're also going to display that best time in the right hand side b time text if we go through now we're out we're still on the under the on trigger function but we're outside of the start finish and we're not triggering or we're not checking that anymore we're checking if we're going through the checkpoints and if we go through the checkpoints we just had a quick uh, debug there to make sure that they were working but we also set the checkpoints to true so if we run through them with the car we set them to true that's the only thing that we do for these checkpoint objects and then we have the end of the on trigger and the end of our class